She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ella and welcome to my channel where I make tech related videos. And today I am going to talk about my entire tech setup. I'm going to tell you guys the tech that I use in my daily life and for each item I'm going to tell you whether I'm happy with it or if there is something else that I would rather replace it with. And for some of the items in my tech setup I have made individual review videos so I will leave links to all of the individual reviews that I've made down below. You can go check those out if if you would like to. Okay, and let's just get started. All right, so first, let me just show you everything in my tech setup. My 4K monitor, my 16 inch MacBook Pro, my 2018 11 inch iPad Pro, my mechanical keyboard, my MX Master 2S mouse, my Huawei P30 phone, my Sennheiser HD 5AX headphones, and my Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Okay, so what I would call the centerpiece of my tech setup is my monitor. So this is a 4K 27 inch monitor. It is made by Acer and I am actually really happy with my monitor. It is not enormous, but it is not too small either. So it allows me to multitask very well when I'm working on my monitor. I almost always have two different windows open side by side and I find that having a monitor is super nice for programming and for video editing especially. So yeah. Yeah, overall super satisfied with my monitor which is actually driven by my 16 inch macbook pro now i was really happy with my 16 inch macbook pro for a long time but recently i've kind of changed my mind and now instead of one really powerful computer like the 16 inch macbook pro i think i would much rather have a powerful pc and a smaller lighter laptop instead i actually made an entire video explaining my thought process on this so if you want to hear a more in-depth explanation for why I regret buying my 16 inch MacBook Pro, then you can check out that video. Okay, anyways, so in addition to that, I also have my iPad Pro. This one is the 2018 11 inch model. And while I don't really use my iPad Pro that much, I am pretty happy with it. Even though this is the older 2018 model, I really don't see any need at all to replace it with the 2020 version. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't see a huge improvement in the 2020 version. Version. So I do most of my work on my monitor, which is driven by my MacBook Pro, but I really like having a device that I can write on because the one thing that I cannot do on my laptop is handwriting and my iPad perfectly fills in that void for me. My iPad is especially useful when I need to complete assignments or do exams that are on PDFs for school. Instead of having to print out my assignments and exams, I can just do them on my iPad so it's much more convenient to do. And of course, having the option to handwrite my notes is really nice too. I used to handwrite notes a lot, but now I've kind of moved away from it. I prefer typing my notes, but occasionally from time to time, I still feel like handwriting my notes. So it's nice to have that option available to me. And right now I am also trying to learn how to draw in Procreate on the iPad as well. I really love that app and it's quite fun. So yeah, overall, I am really glad that I have an iPad because it allows me to do the one thing that I cannot do on my laptop, which is handwriting on it. Okay, all right, and now let's talk about my keyboard and my mouse. So this mechanical keyboard is from Amazon and I actually just got it today. Before I filmed this video, I filmed my mechanical keyboard unboxing. So yeah, as of right now, I can't really give an opinion on how I feel about this mechanical keyboard, but I am really, really excited to try it out. So I'm really hoping that I will like it. Now as for my MX Master 2, S mouse. So I've had this mouse for a while and I love this mouse so much. I will not replace this mouse with anything, maybe except the MX Master 3, but nothing outside of that line. So some reasons for why I really love this mouse. First of all, I love the shape. The mouse is in this curved shape and it matches the shape of my hand really well. So it feels really, really comfortable to use it. And I never get like hand cramps or just like any kind of discomfort when I am using Using this mouse. Also, another really great feature is that the scroll wheel can free spin. So let's say there's a long web page or a really long document. With this mouse, I can jump around it by flying through various parts of the document.
environment. But my absolute most favorite feature of this mouse is that there are buttons on it and I can customize these buttons through an app. Okay, so this is the Logitech Options software. It allows me to customize various features of my mouse. So all of these are buttons. And for each button, I can set it to any of these options shown right here. I can also customize the pointer speed, the scroll speed, etc. And I definitely find this feature to be super useful. Okay, so next let's talk about my phone. And um, yeah, honestly, I want to replace my phone. I am not super happy with my phone. I have my eyes set on the Samsung S21. So um, yeah, that might be coming soon. Okay, and last but not least, let's talk about how I listen to my music. So I have a pair of headphones and a pair of earbuds. I like both of these and I wouldn't replace them with anything else. So as for my big headphones, these are the Sennheiser HD 58X. They are extremely comfortable to wear even for a long period of time. The only potential downside to them is that since they are open back headphones, the sound actually leaks out, but I only intend to use these headphones when I'm just sitting at home, so I really don't mind the music leak. Now, as for when I'm outside, I use my Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. The comfort level is like okay. Um, it's not super comfortable to keep them in for hours on end, but uh, for like a shorter period of time, they are pretty comfortable. The sound quality is pretty decent too. It's definitely not really top notch, but um, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Whereas the sound quality of these headphones is extremely good. The best way that that I can describe it is that it sounds really full and it sounds really clear. So yeah, big fan of these headphones. But yeah, I like this setup because when I'm just sitting at home, I have a pair of super comfortable headphones that have really nice sound quality. So that makes listening to music when I'm just chilling out at home really enjoyable. And then of course, when I'm outside and I still want to listen to music, I can't really bring those headphones around with me because one, they are like, huge so it's not super convenient to wear them out and two uh, the bigger problem is that they leak out the sound so i have my very small very compact samsung galaxy buds plus for when i'm on the go and yeah so that was my tech setup i hope you enjoyed seeing what i use in my day-to-day -day life i am also curious about your tech setup so uh, please leave a comment down below telling me like some of your day-to-day -day essential tech items and yeah that'll be it for this video if you've enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and also if you want to continue to support me and my tech content then be sure to subscribe to my channel down below i also have a few links down below I have a link to a Chrome extension that I made and also to my Twitch and my Instagram. So if you're interested in checking those out, then feel free to do so. I will be back very soon with more tech related videos. So I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye.